Hi there. I'm going to be talking to you about our virtual bookshelves. Virtual bookshelves are very easy to teach your, stu your students to use. Um, and in their in Google Slides, which are super accessible to your kids. The things that make these amazing is the ability to have students share what they're reading. They can do book reviews or book talks, um, summarize what they've read, and it's all very easily done with a link uh, between the book and the slide that is talking about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this example, and then we're gonna jump over to the template on how your students will actually create them so that you can um, walk them through how to do that. So this is my example. On here, my first slide is always my home slide that has kind of like my table of contents in a visual representation. So if I were to put it into present mode, it does not currently work unless you're in present mode. So if you're in present mode, I have the ability to click on a book and it'll hop me to the slide that talks about that book and includes the image of that book. All of your informational slides have to have some sort of home button to get you back to that first home slide. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. It hops me back. If I want to learn about Hunger Games, I can click on Hunger Games. It pops me to that slide. Again, your informational slides must also have that home button. This is all done with the ease of just adding links. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and bring you over to our template. In our template, I have put in that they're going to add their name to the bookshelf. So you can have them add their name as a group. You can have them insert images. Um, you can delete this out and add, or you can put it right on top of it, your image of the book cover of what you're reading currently. And when they're ready, then they're going to start adding pictures of their covers of their books to this section. So I've got an example here so the students can see how it works. It has example on it. They can leave it there, or once they kind of get it figured out, they can get rid of it. But you'll notice if I click on it, it actually shows this link and it says it's linked to slide two elsewhere, which is over here, slide two is my elsewhere, which again, it says example. I switched it to a home button just because I like the visual representation instead of the words better. Um, so let's look at how to actually do this. So if I were going to read a book, say I read Hoot, I will go to the internet. You can do the insert images. It just doesn't do nearly as good of a job finding covers. So I'm going to put a hoot cover and see what we get to pop up. There are some. It's not always going to work. You might want to teach them how to use the internet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the internet in this case. I'm going to go ahead and click on it so I get the black background. And then you can do your right click. Your kiddos will do two fingers pressing down to get your window to open. You're going to copy your image back into your template, and we're going to paste it in. She might be big. I always teach kids to pull from corners so that it resizes evenly. Otherwise, it kind of smushes and is funky looking. So we've got our book. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. I'm also going to paste it, delete this guy out, and paste it onto the next page where I'm going to actually talk about this book. All right. So now will be the time that I'm going to go ahead, resize this, fit this on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, got an error. What happened? Hit undo. Oh, well, when all else fails, find another one. It's all right. Sometimes messing up with your kids is the best thing because they can see that it's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and add my title. So I'm going to type in hoot. And then they would go ahead and type in their summary. This book is about a boy who meets a boy in Florida who is running with no shoes. Whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. Now that I've got my information, I'm going to go ahead and actually do the linking, which makes this the cool part. So I'm going to go ahead, click on my hoot, and there is a shortcut I like to teach the kids. It is Control K. You would hit Control K. The other way to do it, so if I hit Control K, it'll pop up this here. The other way to do it is you can also click on the little link right here, Insert Link. It pops up the exact same thing. Um, sometimes they right click. I, I it's not there, so those other two ways are going to be the best way. So it's not under your right click. So I just do Control K. Kids will get it quickly. You're going to tell them that they need to pick a slide in this presentation. And you'll see my slide three, because I typed in the title, 
It's already got it labeled. Every All the other ones are add book title because there's nothing there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on slide three and hit apply. I've now linked it. So in my presentation, if I click on Hoot, it hops to Hoot. And I can click on my home button, which is already programmed for them to hop right back. So those are the only two things that they will actually need to do. They'll need to put the picture here. They'll need to put the picture here, add a title, add their summary, and then link their book to the correct title. Pretty simple, not too bad, but packs a big punch and is really cool when you put it in present mode. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to support you. It is my full-time job to be here and make sure that you are implementing technology in your classroom to add value and, you know, sometimes to be cool. Let me know what I can do for you.